Okay, hello YouTube subscribers. Today I was told to kill myself. Not that this is what this video is about, but I'm used to being told to kill myself on a daily basis by strangers. Who knows, I'm a very unlike person. But anyway, this video is about my emergency pineal sinus doctor's appointment that I had this past Tuesday. Wonderful. So let me tell you first what happened before I get into the doctor's point. Just maybe a shorter video than my whole month series and the day of surgery series. But let me tell you what first happened. So on Monday the 21st, which note first of all, I did not know I had a weight restriction. Was never told, never told about it. But anyway, on Monday the 21st, I ended up lifting up a... 30, 36 bottle thing, old case of water, and later on that night, I noticed I was bleeding from my pineal sinus. I figured it would stop, but into the next day, I was still bleeding. I was small clots and stuff. It was dying down, but it was still bleeding pretty well. So, I had to go to the doctor, which was January 22nd. So I went to the doctor, he took a look at it, and sorry if you hear construction crap in the background and people talking, there are people working outside, but anyway, um, so I went to the doctor, he took a look at it, and he said something, I don't know what all was said, but because doctors are strange, they don't know what they're talking about, but he said something about weird tissues overlapping, that it wasn't really all that great and all that. So he took a Q-tip full of this uh, stuff, I don't know what it was called, but it's supposed to burn some of your tissue, and he sticks it in there, and my gosh, it hurt. It literally felt like I had a needle going up in there. <laughs> it hurt. But anyway, we found out at the doctor's appointment that everything was looking good. My pictures and my videos are, I guess, a misconception of what's really going on because I guess there's still a big hole back there. I guess it's almost still the same size as when I had my surgery done. It's just taking a very long time to heal. But anyway, he told me that I am now on a weight restriction. Everything's good. There's no infection nothing serious like that but he told me probably when I left that case of water up the previous day I uh, made it bleed out blood so I'm on a weight restriction wasn't really told how much I can pick up or nothing just not to lift anything heavy but I'm assuming which I'm sitting down doing this if he'll cooperate this thing here is about 20 pounds this cat say hello mittens Metton says hello. I'm assuming I probably cannot necessarily pick anything up above how much he weighs for now. Which I go see the doctor, my regular doctor that originally did the surgery this Thursday and I'll ask him questions. But this was a brief video about my pineal surgery emergency. So one tip I recommend now that I know this is when you get a pineal cyst surgery ask about weight restrictions because i had no idea and remember to like subscribe and comment down below and that's about it also if you want to i'll put my instagram in uh the description if you want to follow me goodbye everybody